Hello my friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Ms. May on my channel. I do a variety of lifestyle videos. Several months ago, I got pregnant and I shared with you my two week weight symptoms. A lot of you guys seem to find it interesting and helpful. And in today's video, I wanna share with you my pregnancy essentials. Like what are my pregnancy must haves from trying to conceive to this pregnancy. This is the first time on my channel. Make sure you subscribe. I do a lot of lifestyle content vlogs and a lot of food review videos. And I'm so happy to share with you my pregnancy pregnancy journey and hopefully my tips and tricks can help you out as well. Right. Of course, when we were trying to conceive, the most two important things were the ovulation test strip and the pregnancy test strip. I bought both of them from Amazon and for the pregnancy test, it seems like we were actively trying. It's just so expensive to get pregnancy tests from the drugstore. And if you compare the price, the drugstore is actually more expensive than like the grocery store. Definitely, if you're trying to conceive, I highly recommend using a ovulation strip kit to basically pinpoint your ovulation date. Um, the ovulation strip helps a lot. And I've heard a lot of videos online is what people think. Some people think they just try natural and just naturally have but <laughs> uh, we tried naturally for a long time it never happened it turned out highly recommend um ovulation strip and pregnancy strip i will link some of the things that i use down below in the description box and all of the things i talk about in today's video i will link them in the description box if you want to if you choose to try naturally without ovulation strip of course that's okay this is the last pregnancy actually i highly highly recommend this app this is definitely like a lifesaver as a first time pregnant mom. So this app is called The Bump. Um, there are so many different pregnancy apps out there. So it starts from week one all the way to after you give birth, like you're still trying. But starting from week four, you should kind of know and how, baby, how big the baby is. A lot of education content. And these content, most of them are fact checked by doctors and OBGYN. So it gives you like, oh, the key takeaways at five weeks, what are the pregnancy symptoms? Like what are the things you need to learn? An idea of what the baby looks like inside. This is what the baby looks like at five weeks. And this is what your body looks like at five weeks. Like at five weeks, you can barely, there's like literally like just like a several cells. As you progress into the pregnancy, it will give you like a daily fact and like 16 weeks and pregnant or whatever. And it always tells you things you need to know by the time like you're approaching by 10 weeks. After 10 weeks, you're probably choosing to do genetic testing. It's not as invasive test it will give you an article about it and then by 20 weeks it will say hey you're probably gonna schedule an anatomy check so you can see all of these weeks here even if you're not there so I think when I first got pregnant I just keep looking forward towards like when my baby gets bigger gets into the coconut as big as a soccer ball it just really helps me to visualize and not lose hope especially after their first pregnancy loss and it also tells me like do I need a birth plan and like updating your estate plan and I just really really loved it so this is definitely my number one pregnancy essential is the the app the bomb okay I have to share this first because I actually use it starting from the first trimester during my pregnancy my uterus stretched a lot at the beginning so my waistline in instantly <laughs> rose up so Normal people may not notice any like belly at the beginning, but I noticed that my belly is like a little bit different um, But I know what was going on. So I have to switch to a different type of underwear So I know it's kind of weird to show underwear on YouTube But this is actually from Amazon. I bought this from Amazon. I'll link it down below And this is from the brand Kindred Bravely and it turned out that I think my sister-in-law bought some stuff from there too I got a coupon recently from my sister-in-law this brand but I bought this from Amazon so what I love about this is like this is still small size so like without you gaining weight having a bigger glute area like <clears throat> when your waistline expand it doesn't cover my belly if like belly pops out it doesn't suck in it it doesn't feel like you know the elastic band is just so way more elastic compared to like other underwears and I you I wear this since like I think week eight or nine, cause I just really had to buy updated underwear to like right now, I'm like week 
24. So like it, it still fits because it doesn't cover your belly. It just goes underneath your hip, not underneath your hip, like around your hip. It's just like hand there and it's just so soft and nice. I bought this one from Amazon and highly, highly recommend. That is my number one <laughs> recommendation. That there are not a lot of like comfortable pregnancy shorts so I started buying like bigger shorts so I came from I went from small to medium to large right now but I just found out like this is like an Amazon brand it's like not even the name name brand this is like from Amazon this I'll definitely link this down below it's not a name brand because I really like some shorts for New Balance but they're just so expensive they're like $45, $55. I'm like, I can't keep buying $50 worth of shorts and then not wearing it after I give birth because I don't think I can wear large after I give birth because the only reason why I have to wear large is because my waistline. But these are just like between $13 to $20 and they're just so good because the thing is like a lot of times if I buy large even though my waistline is big my leg is not as big so what I love about it is it has an inner lining and their inner lining is very elastic it's very stretchy but it also is pretty like it hugged in so even though it's large like it expand if you're a bigger girl you can still wear this and if you're a smaller girl like it doesn't like it doesn't like you know sometimes the shorts I have I have insecurity that like if I sit down or whatever you can see my butt or whatever this shorts you can do yoga you can put your leg up because it has a inner line and this shorts it's so soft and comfortable and I love this belly band because the belly band is like so thin and it comes with a strap so right now it's still a little bit big for large but once I'm in my third trimester it will still fit because it's like a large 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 it goes all the way because they're actually like you know straps so I bought this pair I think $18 different colors are different some of them are a little cheaper than the others but I just love this so so much I'll try to find this again link it down below I bought like five pairs of these one for each day that I go to the gym now and now I just feel like I don't need those like fancy like Nike New Balance or whatever because this Amazon shorts is actually good like you can do yoga and I feel very very secure this is definitely my all-time favorite pregnant incense that I want to recommend is this sports bra so this sports bra is from the brand Puma you can get this from Amazon I'll link it down below so these are really nice support with paddings. When you're pregnant, your cup is probably gonna be bigger. My cup size when the two sizes. So I had to buy new sports bra. None of my previous bras fit. But when it comes to sports bra, I just really like this one because it has a, the maximum support. Like when if you bounce around, it won't bounce. It has a really good support, but it's not too tight. And you can adjust the back to make it longer, to make it shorter. So before I was pregnant, I would have wear small, but now I wear medium. And these are pretty cheap compared to all of these like brands and stuff. I actually you can get this one from Amazon. It's probably like fifteen dollars, twenty max. Like you can get them in three pack I got them in like two three pack so this are great you can get it like it's a pack of different colors so this is the only sports bra that I wear these days it's not a vitamin b6 um, I think the first trimester a lot of people have nausea and vomiting I didn't vomit much I just had nausea and I think vitamin b6 actually helped so I started taking extra vitamin b6 other than my prenatal because like I do feel like on the days I take it I feel a little bit better so definitely recommend the vitamin b6 as a supplement and the next thing that I think is essential is a prenatal vitamin that contains methylfolic acid not the regular folate acid but methylfolate so before I was pregnant I was reading on my app of the bomb and I was watching a lot of YouTube videos it says that some women cannot process or like absorb like 
normal folic acid they need the methyl folate acid they need the methyl folate and in my mind i was like yes yeah, some women probably not me i should be okay so the prenatal i took is without methyl folate it was like the normal folate and then i did a blood test at my at my eight weeks check and my doctor was like you need to take methyl folate because like i don't think you're absorbing it just save you some trouble folate just take the methyl folate one of the things that i take down below and i do take this prenatal and this prenatal the prices of these two vary by a lot this is about like 20 dollars this is like a hundred dollars per month the mega genetics it comes in a pack of six seven this is my daily intake. You can get these from Amazon, I think. I got the plus one, but you don't have to get the plus one. You can just get the metagenetics one. But they're just so expensive. Um, but I started with these. So the whole idea of taking prenatal is you should take prenatal the moment you decide you are trying for baby. First, start taking prenatal. Second, try to reduce caffeine intake to one cup a day. Um, because if you don't, it's gonna be hard once you're pregnant because you have to reduce it. And also try to sleep more, start exercising, get your cardiovascular health is very important. Get your muscle strength is very important or else the aches and pains are gonna be crazy and also like maybe quit smoking and stop drinking alcohol with this cheap one i would say there is no methyl folate acid like here it says like folate is like regular folic acid so i have to take additional methyl folic acid but this one you don't because it does have a methyl folic acid but the methyl folate is not that expensive i will link some down below i'll link all of these down below but check with your healthcare provider before you consume and so i also take additional calcium and magnesium my midwife told me to take magnesium when i told her that i had migraines and headaches and also calcium is like really helpful like when you're pregnant because the baby absorbs a lot of calcium from you what i do is my normal prenatal has some calcium but i take a little extra the little extra i took half of the daily value because you know i already took some health calcium from my prenatal so it kind of like you know as a supplement because my calcium was a little bit low with the um my blood work all of my vitamins my drugs <laughs> to my provider i was like can i take this can i take this can i take this can i take this they have to okay it here's the thing you're gonna read different things on the internet they're gonna tell you what is okay what is not okay what are misconceptions or whatever they're gonna be like different opinions different doctors check with your doctor because it should be based on your blood work it should be based on your symptoms so don't believe anything says in the internet when it comes to taking supplements plus when it comes to take, doing exercise. Always check it with your doctor. This, this is called Body Omer. It's a drink. Um, <laughs> I actually found out about this drink in my mother-in-law's house. I stole this when I was walking her dog. I got thirsty, so I was like, let me see what drinks you got, fancy. And I found this one. You can get this from Amazon, you can get this from local grocery store or Costco. Um, but if you're pregnant, get the low calorie, no sugar added ones because you know gestational diabetes is a thing. Like in my previous videos about shop with me or whatever, people call me crazy eating disorder or whatever but i just want to say i i have a lot of tips and warnings from my midwives and healthcare provider not to consume juice or not to overly consume juice and carbs and stuff like that like sugar especially in its pure form during the first trimester i felt very very dizzy very very dizzy <laughs> and this thing has potassium and electrolytes um basically it has coconut water so it does have a little bit of sugar even there's no sugar added there is like there are b vitamins it's low calorie that's potassium vitamin c niacin folate it does have folate but not methyl folate um vitamin a, E, B6, B12. So if I drink this, I don't take additional vitamin B6 or B12. Um, and then it also has zinc and magnesium, but not a lot of magnesium. So let's just take a look right here with the nutrition facts and stuff. So this one is a godsend, especially during my first trimester. 
a little bit during my second trimester, but my first trimester, I felt very dizzy and like very, very dizzy. And it was kind of hot in San Antonio back then too. So every time I felt dizzy, if I drank a little bit of this, I felt way better. It's erythritol and stevia, but it doesn't have any like bad artificial sweetener or whatever. So body armor is my number one drink during the pregnancy. And another pregnancy essential is bye-bye drink. Bye-bye drink is not a necessarily like essential to be honest. It does have some benefits because it does have like vitamin C and it does have polyphenol, which is antioxidant. But I drink this because it contains caffeine. It contains 55 milligrams of caffeine per bottle. It's the same as a cup of green tea. Ever since I got pregnant, I quit coffee completely because I had food aversion against coffee. And you're supposed to limit your caffeine intake for like to under 200 milligrams. You have to also think about like they're in chocolate, cocoa or whatever. So you just really have to be really mindful of what caffeine content you put in your body. So drinking normal coffee is just like a deal breaker for me for a long time because I couldn't tolerate the taste. And also it's just too much caffeine in a lot of the Starbucks drinks. But this one is a godsend. Sometimes in the morning, I feel groggy. I feel like, oh my gosh, I just need some pick me up. Bye bye drink. You put it in the fridge, you drink it in the morning. It's so refreshing, so hydrating. And that 55 milligrams of caffeine goes a long way because it doesn't make you jitterish because you drink the whole bottle for it. It's, you know, it's kind of like green tea. Most people don't get jitterish when they drink green tea because it's not a lot of caffeine, but it's enough caffeine to give you energy. My midwife told me to get this. I got this one from Amazon. Actually, some insurance covers it. After I got this one, I realized my insurance covers it, but it wouldn't help i'll tell you why later it's super cheap it's like 25 dollars to 30 dollars not maybe not even that much like from amazon this is i will link this down below and you can get your size so this is at the top so basically you put this on your belly and you basically just like clutch it at the bottom so this is actually really good. I think it's really good because first of all, it's recommended by my healthcare provider. Second of all, it's also like covered by my insurance. So it's probably like a much needed item. Um, so I don't need this every single day, even though my midwife told me to wear all the time. Um, this is really, really good um, to prevent lower back pain and round ligament pain. Your belly, your baby is pressing onto your lumbar spine. It's pressing forward to your like ligament, your hips and whatever. So this thing is really, really good. This is the inside, this is the outside. I don't like it as much just because like sometimes it gets a little hot and then when I move a lot, it moves a lot with me. So I have to make sure it's back to the place. But on the days when I felt the worst lower back pain, wearing this helped way more than not wearing this. So even though my midwife told me to wear it every day, I don't, but I do think on the days that I needed it, um, when I needed it badly, when I wear it, it does help, especially when I take long walks, especially when you put a lot, when I sit down, I don't feel as much versus like when I take my long walk. So if you have round ligament pain or lower back pain, or if you're just like wanting of some support of the weight from your belly, um, from your pelvic floor, it basically lifts you up and it redistribute the weight. So I'll link this item from Amazon down below. It's like a pretty, a pretty useful item for a very cheap price. So this, my husband actually bought this during my first pregnancy. I don't know why he was in this such a rush. The moment I found out I was pregnant and the first time, he bought me this. And of course I had a miscarriage. I didn't even get to use this. And then the second time I'm pregnant, finally I'm like big enough, right? Like starting from second trimester, you're supposed to not sleep on your back. You're supposed to be sleeping on your side. So my husband bought me this pregnancy pillow. So I have a lot to say about it. This is an all time favorite from my sister-in-law. The reason why my husband bought it is because like his brother 
told him that it really helped his wife a lot. And I've seen a lot of YouTubers and a lot of like Instagrammers and a lot of people that I follow loving it. They can go really expensive. You buy the professional ones, they can go like 200 or whatever. This one is from Amazon. It's like maybe $59, $60. It's a human sized pillow. You basically sleep in the middle and you put your legs in between these these pillows and you sleep on top of these pillows. It helps a lot of women, including like my family, my sister-in-law, right? It has really good reviews online and a lot of people, they swear by this. My husband actually likes it, but and myself, I hated it. I hated it so much that I used it like one night. I hated it. I tried it again. I hated it that I had to take it out during the night. Um, I think there is why because my sister-in-law is tall, 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 tall. And some of the YouTube, like when people, like people who love it, um, most of them are not as petite as me. I'm five, three and a half. Um, I, before I was pregnant, I was size zero and I was just like small, petite with short legs and my baby is also very small. Anyway, so you're supposed to be like sleeping in the middle like this. Okay, let me just show you a general idea of how big this thing is. And then I will go in there and I, you're supposed to put your legs through this, but I felt like I can't even like put my legs through it because it's so big. My arms have to go around like this. This is how crazy it is on this side. So I can only sleep on this side because this side has like a little, you know, flat area where you can put you there. But then I'm supposed to put my legs through this, but my legs have to be, my knees have to be very white to squeeze on this. So long story short, I think tall people, love it that's why my husband tried it and he loved it and my sister-in-law she's like five eight five nine she's really tall in my life i'm never a back sleeper i always sleep on the side but when i put this on i had to sleep on my back because i turn left there's a wall in front of me i turn right there's a wall in front of me the pillows are i'm supposed to be hugging and squeezing are taller than me if i lay flat there it's actually taller than me so i just it's just terrifying at night and if i have to go pee in the middle of the night it's very hard to come back to the position and whatever so i think if you're tall if you have a bigger bone structure, this may be a godsend to you. And I looked it up online afterwards, and it turned out that a lot of people have the same impression of me. It's like, it helped so many pregnant women that like almost everyone wants to buy one, but by the time they get it, they didn't feel the same thing no matter how hard it tried. Instead, I got this one. This is, I will link it down below. I found it from Amazon too. I bought this one at Target. It's just a small random pillow. Um, I don't even know what this is sell for, maybe for your neck, maybe when you're, oh, maybe this is for your car or when you're like watching TV or whatever. So now when I sleep, I put this in between my legs and a little bit underneath my belly. So I don't know if you can see, like I put it a little bit underneath my belly. And because this thing is so small, I can probably squeeze it a little bit. And there's some that has memory foam. Like it's kind of like a cervix neck in a lock shape. And it actually helped me so much. So every night I just sleep with this in between my legs. And the thing is I am small enough for this thing to be between my legs, underneath my belly, and then hug in again. So this is how small I am compared to other people. I think when it comes to like height and size, it does matter. So I highly recommend just getting a small one like this. It's not gonna take your entire space, it's cheaper then a big pregnancy pillow and after you're pregnant this is still usable you can use it for other things and you can just use it as a yoga pillow it's just super nice so i will i will link this down below in the description box but i would say that like if you love the pregnancy pillow if it helps you definitely like i think it really comes down to the size of my body i'm just so short and it just makes me <laughs> horrified when there are two walls 
by my side. So the next pregnancy essentials is this item. It's this body cream from CeraVe. And this is the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. And it has three essential ceramides or whatsoever. Um, you can get this from Amazon, of course. I'll link it down below. So this is really good because it has hyaluronic acid. It's non-comedogenic and it's fragrance free. So during pregnancy, the most important thing, I think starting from week... 11 12 i would say like i started having eczema attack um i used to have eczema uh, when i was a kid and during pregnancy your belly may start to feel itchy as the skin stretches and if you happen to be pregnant during winter seasons like the hormones in your body may actually flare eczema or itchy patches and it happens to a lot of women so i I think this is the best cream for that because like it does it is fragrance free um, the other one that I would get is from another drugstore brand that has oats or oatmeal in it and it's also helped with like eczema it's like an active ingredient that battle eczema so I would so here's the thing about doing this like there are so many skincare products for pregnancy especially for your belly area like whatever so here's the thing stretch marks are genetics chances are you're gonna get it and it's not it's not worth it to spend so much money on those like products that are super expensive the best ones are the ones that are fragrance free that has the most basic ingredients usually getting like some oats or oatmeal is really good and also like ceramides are really good hyaluronic acid is really good hydrating is the key during pregnancy um, just don't think too much about the stress part. Next pregnancy essential that I felt like that helped me a lot is this leg compress leg compression massager. Um, it comes with like thighs and legs, thighs and calves and feet. So I actually got these from Amazon. The brand actually sent me this to review. I think long time ago before I was pregnant or maybe when I was just first got pregnant so back then I was like oh this is a really good active recovery for your legs I actually have a friend who goes to the gym like multiple times a day and he wears it every single day as a recovery item for like you know fitness and stuff but I didn't know this is actually a godsend for pregnancy until my legs got so swollen and they hurt a lot they get swollen a lot and I just feel bad and these actually help a lot so you just plug it in and watch TV it will compress your legs it also has heat um, it feels really really nice because I don't take a bath um, anymore because like I always feel hot during pregnancy and these ones you can buy the super expensive one the professional ones that I use in those like um, recovery places that you can you can spend a thousand dollars on these I don't think you need to especially if you just like get it because you have like pregnancy like let's leg swelling so at the end of the day when you watch TV just put it on let it squeeze you for 15 to 30 minutes and these ones are just like a hundred something dollars it's just not expensive but it helps a lot if you're gonna get something like massage vise get this one if you know anyone who's pregnant get them this as present this item is this neck and shoulder massager um this is from the brand infinity i'll find it down below or you can get a different brand i i will try to find this one just because it i've used it for like almost two years and it works pretty well it hasn't broken yet you charge it and it's portable if you're gonna get those neck and shoulder massager I highly recommend get one of those portable ones not the ones you have to plug in because then I can use it on the couch I can use it on the chair I can use it at the office I can use it anywhere because you know it's portable you have, I don't have to plug into a wall you just need to charge the battery so I always love these neck and shoulder massagers but during pregnancy I have a lot of tension aches and headaches especially when my boob is developing cups like I started having back pain shoulder pain because I'm not used to having any weight here because uh, I was pretty flat before so this one actually helped a lot like especially around my shoulder area I feel like I get way more tension now during pregnancy than before and this one is definitely an investment it's kind of like a hundred bucks but kind of like the leg massager it's like you can use it before and after pregnancy it's nice it's it's not like something that if you don't have you can't have a 
safe pregnancy or whatever but it's just such a nice thing to have it makes a, such a big difference and another app this is the app you probably don't need starting at the beginning of the pregnancy but as your pregnancy progresses um you know you may need it and i learned about this from my sister-in-law of course and this app is called baby list baby list is actually an app for a baby registry and people can also buy you the gift card of course and well, of course, Amazon gift card would be nice too because you can buy anything from Amazon. But the thing is like, for example, if I wanted to buy the baby changing pad, then you can see there are a list of things people can buy it from. They can buy from Baby List or Amazon or Walmart or Target, Nordstrom, and you can compare the prices. So people can buy it from any of these places. So if you register at Baby List, you're not constrained by Baby List. You can like people can still buy it from Amazon, whatever, um, the same exact item. It will you know find it versus if you just register somewhere else like bye bye baby you probably just have to buy bye bye baby i think if i don't register at baby list i may just register on amazon because essentially when i'm considering baby registry i want my selections to be as wide as possible and to be to make the price more comparable. So if I'm gonna buy this one thing on Amazon, maybe three sellers for this one thing versus in other places, it may just be that one store. Speaking of that, when you're registering and considering buying items, like I'm a little behind. I'm not like super like crazy because I don't know what to do most of the times. But if you are getting the breast pump, especially through your insurance, make sure you book it as early as possible because I just made an order for my breast pump, for my milk pump. Um, it's at the end of January, Right now and it says it will be shipped in April 12th which is like a month before my due date so make sure you buy it a little bit early because the shipping day may be very delayed um, depending on like especially if you buy it with your insurance yeah um, the last item that I think it's nice to have the air purifier um, we got we got a lot of air purifier in the house and I think ever since I'm pregnant, I just get really congested really easily and my allergies got really bad and dust hurts me a lot. So getting an ear purifier, getting that good quality air is just so good. When you're pregnant, you're probably more sensitive and fragile. You have to communicate that with your partner um, because your partner will be like, oh, we don't need to change the air filter. But you do because when you're pregnant, your nose is more congested, you have more bodily fluid, like you have runny nose and stuff like that. You definitely don't want other like irritants to make to irritate you more. So I highly recommend the Dyson air purifier. It's a godsend. We have one in the living room. We, we have one in the bedroom and the one in the bedroom is a Dyson cool slash heat so at night uh, when our heat is a little bit lower we that air purifier will turn on the heat so it's nice and cozy and warm in my bedroom and in summer it's a fan <laughs> so you can actually set a temperature so highly recommend it's expensive it's definitely an investment it's not a must-have but it's definitely a must-have for me <laughs> so all of the products that I talked about down below and after and their names um, if you have other recommendations during your pregnancy definitely comment down below it's my first pregnancy I am so happy to share with you my pregnancy must-haves and essentials and definitely want to hear from you as well and if you're trying to conceive good luck and if you're pregnant let me know your due date and we're pregnancy bodies essentially All right. and before you go don't forget to like and subscribe and I hope to see you in my next video bye